It's time for an air cooling assassination. This is the Deep Cools Assassin for air cooler, which is of course the advanced model of Assassin 3 and it goes in that um, let's say design where Deep Cool is currently in. It switched completely from the past design when we're talking about the chassis, the cases, the air coolers uh, and liquid coolers and all together everything and it comes down to this. This is how it looks, this is the new design and well it's going to be interesting to check how it cools of course. So what's it all about with the design where you basically don't have a fan on front which is usually a normal thing for an air coolers where the rams are. So the passive cooler is more extended towards the rams. You do have clearance for all four sticks on your motherboard and uh, after that you have a passive heatsink. Well basically first starts with the passive heatsink. Then you have one 40 millimeter fan that goes way over. It covers the whole passive heatsink and a bit extends at the bottom part above next to your um, cold plate uh, towards your CPU. Then we have another passive heatsink and you have a 120 millimeter fan blowing out the air, pulling it out of the passive heatsink uh, out towards the rear fan, which is outstanding because I even used ASRock uh, X670E Tai Chi Carrara, which actually does have a huge IO cover and it doesn't touch it even. There are like two to three millimeters of distance from the IO cover towards that uh, second 120 millimeter fan, but they don't collide whatsoever. You might get uh, distracted by the point where placing the cooler on your CPU and on your motherboard is going to look like it's touching it, but when you tie up those screws, it really does not. So let's break it down with uh, the Assassin 4 and how to mount it. I use the AMD platform to mount uh, the Assassin 4 and it's quite straightforward again. We have to only remove those two brackets that are held with uh, two screws each and uh, after that you have to place four standoffs, two mounting plates and four locking screws. That's it. You don't have to do literally anything else. There's no mechanism on the air cooler to, that you need to additionally place. This is the only procedure that you need to do. Apart from the regular part, of course, where you have to remove the sticker from the cold plate, you need to place thermal paste, remove the middle fan out of the whole chassis of the fan and then use their uh, screwdriver that you get inside the box and tie it up evenly to mount the air cooler towards your CPU, towards your motherboard. Now there's another cool thing that you can do with Assassin 4 is that you can add another fan on the front and you get a bracket with four screws that give you an option to attach that fan to the front part of the case. Now here I would suggest if you really decide to go with that, uh, it would be really a shame to ruin the slick and clean design of the Assassin 4 because it doesn't have RGB and this is why I built a PC that's completely off, so no RGB, no lights, no literally nothing, just pure black except for the motherboard unfortunately, but yeah, we'll leave that for another time. I would go with the exact same design if it's possible of course, but you can mount additional fan and that's uh, quite cool to have basically three fans on the air cooler. Uh, I would suggest going with 120, I think it's only 120 if I'm not mistaken. Some specs that you need to know, supports all sockets except for the Threadripper, uh, heatsink dimension uh, is 140 times 110 times 160 and the total weight is 1.575 kilos. We have seven heat pipes with six millimeter of thickness then we have fan dimensions 140 times 140 times 25 and the other one is 120 times 120 times 25. Fan speed in performance mode. You have 500 RPMs to 1700 RPM CFM, goes up to 79.1 CFM and the air pressure is 2.44 millimeters H2O. The maximum noise level is 29.3 decibels and in quiet mode we have 500 to 1350 RPMs. CFM is 63.76 maximum and the air pressure is 1.58 millimeters HO while the noise level in quiet mode is 22.6 decibels. You have 4 pin PWM fan connector that is daisy chainable so you can connect both fans at the same time. 
six pole fan motor with fluid dynamic bearing and the power consumption in performance mode is 2.88 watts so let's check out the performance unfortunately last time i used the ch560 digital i used 7600x so i don't have anything to compare the assassin 4 towards uh, other coolers but what I can do is give you some insights. Of course, Aida 64 Extreme Edition, 90 degrees Celsius on the CPU with clock speed going up to 4700 megahertz, while the GPU is at 64. Regardless of that, it's more based on the case for the GPU. So yeah, we have, I didn't mention the processor, so it's uh, AMD Ryzen 9 7900X3D. And uh, one thing that I have to say is that Using that processor with Fantex Glacier uh, 1 360MP scored lower points uh, in the height Y60 than in this combination. So let's get uh, to it. Cinnamon Char 23, the configuration with height and Fantex. Uh, the CPU went up to 85 or 86 degrees. The clock speed was around 4900 to 4925. It went up to maximum 26,000. In this scenario, we have thermals going from 82 to 83 degrees Celsius as clock speeds from 4925 to 4975. It did touch 5000 megahertz, but I don't want to mention the clock speeds that just bounce off. It's something that uh, can happen and uh, I don't like mentioning, I just like to mention the possibilities it did peak at 5000 megahertz but it didn't stay stable and i don't want to mention that in the results i usually go with average and now for the cinebench scores it starts at 26838 immediately the first score is by 800 higher than the configuration that i mentioned then we go again 26800s then we go to 900s it keeps going with 26, 800, 900 and something like that. And then last three scores, 27,103, then we have 26 and a one. So in other terms, this configuration, this is CH560 digital with Assassin 4, scores better points on uh, 7900X3D in Cinebench R23 than uh, Height Y60 and Fantex Glacier 1 um, 360MP. Of course, Fantex is releasing a new AAO and uh, should be interesting to check that out as well. But for the, with the current uh, comparison, this is what I can give you. Of course, that isn't a direct comparison. Don't get me wrong. This isn't a direct comparison because it should be more viable if I use that AAO inside this case with the same configuration. Then you'll get the exact same like configuration but with a different cooler then we would have more accurate uh, scores and i think glacier one would eventually go a bit higher but regardless to that this one the assassin 4 does unbelievable things to 7900x3d uh, giving it possibility to reach unbelievable scores in cinema chart 23 of course the clocks are stock and everything is stock i didn't touch literally anything because all my tests are run like that and um, I honestly don't want to touch uh, anything just because I want to keep it stock for those who don't know how to do any of that stuff. It's something that I decided to do and it kind of uh, makes it easier for everyone to understand. So yeah, definitely a PC crazy performance badge for the Deepcool Assassin 4. Without a doubt, I love the design. That's something different regardless to the badge. Uh, quite easy installation process and I forgot one thing you have here a switch which gives you a possibility what I mentioned earlier in the video a possibility to switch between the quiet mode and the performance mode which is outstanding because if you're not doing anything with heavy load just browsing or doing some random stuff you can just uh, switch it off and get lower decibel range or just if this Assassin 4 really cools that good for you as well, you can keep it in quiet mode constantly. That's all. That's all what I can say. If you like this combination of the case and the Assassin 4, and if you're aiming for something like this, I'll place the links for the CH560 Digital in the description below, as well as the main star of the show, Assassin 4. 
If you like these kind of videos and deep cool products and everything that I did in this video and past ones, if you're not a subscriber but you regularly watch my videos, please do subscribe. It really helps the, the channel grow and um, if you don't mind, click the like button and notification bell for future content coming quite shortly. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.